Good morning. Happy Wednesday to you. It's raining. <laughs> yeah, we took a little walk in the rain, but by the time we were getting back to the house, it was raining a little bit harder. But um, it's kind of chilly today. It's 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 okay. It's nice. Got my warm coat on. So I am the world's worst at remembering people's names. It's embarrassing. I have to write everything down. I remember back when I was teaching how important it was to remember your students' names and you had over a hundred students and a lot of times they would have the same name, a bunch of them would have the same name and they'd spell it all kinds of different ways and you had to keep that straight too. I was pretty good at it because I knew it was very important to remember people's names. Out here in this new neighborhood, nobody knows my name. It's so funny, when I was moving in, the lady next door locked her keys in her car. So she came over to ask me to help her, and I did. And I asked her about some of the other neighbors, and she didn't even know the name of the people on the other side of me. <laughs> I had to tell her that. Oh, their name is this, and, and she does this, and he does that, and she didn't even know her neighbors. It's way different than where we used to live. But people's names are important. It's important to remember who people are. We get our identity from our name. Did you know that God knows your name? I'm always impressed when I read a story in the Bible and God will call someone by name. Remember the story of Abraham and Sarah? And then Sarah's servant, I guess, uh, Hagar, every time they mention Hagar, they don't, they don't ever use her name. They, they um, call her the servant, Sarah's servant. Well, Sarah and Abraham, for whatever reason, got upset with Hagar and sent her out into the desert. And so she was there with her baby Ishmael. She was crying. And God heard her call, and he said, Hagar, Hagar. He called her by name. I love that. God knows your name. He knows every hair on your head. He knows every thought. In Isaiah 43, it says, But now, thus says the Lord, He who created you, O Jacob, he who formed you, O Israel, fear not, for I have redeemed you. I have called you by name. You are mine. <laughs> and in John 10, 3, it says, The sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name. He knows their name. And in Exodus 33, 17, the Lord said to Moses, This very thing that you have spoken I will do, for you have found favor in my sight, and I know you by name. Names are important. I try to remember people's names. Whatever I need to do, I write it down. <laughs> I have to write everything down. But it's important. So just remember this. God knows your name. Sometimes when people have forgotten our name, we feel a little bit invisible, like we're not important. Names are important. You are important. You're important to God, and God knows your name. And uh, you're not invisible. You're real, and God loves you. There is a song, <laughs> and I don't think, I know I've never sung it, but it's a, a song by the Maranatha Singers. It's called, He Knows My Name. I have a maker. He formed my heart. Before even time began, my life was in his hand. 
He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and hears me when I call and hears me when I call. I have a father. He calls me his own. He'll never leave me no matter where I go. He knows my name. He knows my every thought. He sees each tear that falls and hears me when I call and hears me when I call. So just know this, God knows your name. He loves you. You're important. I pray that you have a blessed day. I thank you for listening. Two days, my song's going to be released globally. It's going to be powerful. Stay tuned. Have a blessed day. He knows your name. I will talk to you later.